What's going on YouTube? Look man here and welcome back to another video on the channel and today we're going to be talking about the 4 triple 2 custom tactics and instructions that is going to help you win more games in FIFA 23 especially with game modes like Fudge Champs, Weekend League, Division Rivals and of course beating your friends in friendly mode as well. This formation is so well balanced. It is the new meta I believe, at least one of the most meta formations. It is so good going forward and so well balanced defensively as well. So without any more delay let's just straight away get into it. Alright guys, so let's check out the instructions and custom tactics for this overpowered formation in FIFA 23. As soon as I start the game, I go defensive, that's why I set 4 triple 2 over there. So it's balanced in defense, I believe that's the best way to go about it. 42 width, you can go with 40 or probably a little higher as well, 45, but I feel 42 Some for some reason has worked out for me. Depth is crucial in this. Uh, now you can choose to play uh, depth depending upon the center backs that you have. If you have low rated cards who are not that good in the game, uh, then you have to go with a lower depth say you can just scroll down to probably 55 maybe or even 50 for that matter but i prefer to use 60 because my defenders as you can see in the game i have the likes of rudiger and militao so i can switch to them quickly and press up high up the pitch and that is why i've kept 60 and it's worked really well for me like i said earlier next up is balance now this build up play you can do a lot of things with this i believe balance is the best way to go about it but you can try fast build up also because that helps you pass but as you can see this tactic pushes our players forward for a faster build up but if you lose possession of the ball you could find yourself to an open counter attack so i wouldn't really recommend if you're someone who plays fast that's good but if you've got complete control on your defending then that is a very good way to go forward with this tactic because you'll be able to come back defend well with your players however i feel balance is the best way to start since it's early days in fifa 23 now next up is chance creation direct passing now this is so crucial because in this formation your wingers are going to help you come inside which is why the left cam and the right cam they're going to help you come inside and make those runs behind your opponent's fullbacks as well which is why direct passing as you can see once the team enters the attacking zone with possession players will create chances by making runs for passes into space behind the opposite back line strikers who are fast with this good tactics if you have got someone like Mbappe even Haaland for that matter with that lengthy axle rate that is just so overpowered in FIFA 23 you can use this tactic very well this might not work with slow strikers so keep that in mind if, if it doesn't work out you can try forward runs um, uh, again it's uh, it's it's something that I would still recommend uh, with your fast strikers but like you can try balanced uh, uh, to, to go with if you have a so, slow striker in your team so that is direct passing is what I would recommend the width I'm playing is 60 actually in attack because it gives you a lot more width while going forward like I said you have a left cam and a right cam with two strikers in your attacking so they actually go wider and another interesting thing is that when you're defending as well with the high width if you lose the ball in the opponent's half your uh, CDM sort of even though you're on cover, cover center instruction which I'll be talking to you guys in a bit but they try and push up high up the pitch and block the passes that are going on the wings as well which is why I've kept 60 depth uh, 60 width for example uh, you have Valverde or someone like Kessie in your team these are the basic players that you can afford at the start of this game I'm pretty sure then these are the ones that go and support the fullbacks as well so you can try keeping a high width this is defensively a very solid as well but going forward it offers you so much of width because wing play is very crucial and as we all know the Trivella shots are so overpowered that if you have a good player on the wings for you and you find a lot of space you can just bang one in from the far uh, like from a far farther distance from goal players in the box is five so one of my uh, CDMs is going to be balanced which I'll talk about later so he also makes that run and you have other players going inside the box as well this really helps if you've got tall strikers like Lewandowski or Benzema for that matter uh, because they tend to win CR7 all these cards they will help you win those headers even Haaland of course how do you miss Haaland and uh, yeah corners three free kicks three that's pretty basic I believe you guys already know much about it but corners three definitely helps you with more numbers in the box and you can even try those short corners and then launch a cross in because you'll already have good amount of center backs like uh, like obviously you're both center backs and good amount of defenders in the box to head the ball for you now going into this formation as you can see I've got a fast striker in my team and I've got Ginola obviously this is this team is made with FIFA points as I'm a professional FIFA player but you guys can use different combinations what I would suggest is have a fast striker and have someone who can build the play up for you hold up for, for example a combination of 
Erling Haaland and someone like Neymar for example or even Vinicius uh, who are not recommended at striker but still you can use them in your starter squads and Vinicius is obviously better as a winger but you get the idea now let's check out the instructions on these players now stay central is very crucial on both the strikers because you don't want to be uh, having them too wide because you're already playing 60 depth so you want them to be compact you want in fact your wingers in this case Neymar and Dembele going out and helping you out with those wing play attacks but you have to keep it central and stay forward on Ginola because uh, for example in my team he just bullies the defenders a lot of times he just holds up the play really well which should have kept him stay forward on Mbappe I've kept stay central get in behind now he's so fast as we all know Mbappe is one of the best strikers in this game you have to use get in behind on him because he will make those quick runs and with the opponent panic switching a lot of times you have the chance to lob a through ball and he's straight uh, onto the goal with the keeper 1v1 so that really helps and you have to keep an on balance a basic defense support you don't need to keep stay forward because you want him to drop a little and uh, make those passes with Ginola which is why he is not required for hold up play hence no stay forward on him now next up is both your cams actually you have to keep balance get into the box for both these players uh, simple get into the box for crosses and other stuff you don't need to keep come back on defense on these uh, if you think that you need them you can obviously try and try them out at come back on defense but I would still say it's better to stay this way next up is your CDMs now you have to use one of your DMs particularly which is uh, for example someone like Kessie who is your CDM and an any other example that you have a defensive player you have to keep him at stay back cover center and then the other one has to be on balanced cover center because he's the one making those runs i'm playing valverde but obviously i'll upgrade to something like kdb because i feel the best combination is either marquisio kessie or kdb kessie or obviously cheaper options are uh, there are a lot of options you can even play gold kdb for that matter he is so good uh, sorry about that so yeah that's how it is for your cdms and then fullbacks are stay back while attacking both of them uh, you can even try overlap on them that helps a lot of times but I believe mixed attack is fine but you can obviously try out overlap on one of your attacking fullbacks which is good uh, with shooting and you know going forward in this case I would uh, rather keep this on Hakimi because his stats going forward are not too bad either so yeah these are the instructions uh, these were the custom tactics and I hope it really helps you going forward in your weekend league games and rivals and other competitions as well Alright guys, so that was the 4 triple two custom tactics and instruction that you can use to get better in your FIFA 23 games. Just one more thing about this formation. The best part about it is you have two cams. They're so crucial. They will come and support you when it comes to uh, defending narrowly. Why? Hence why I've kept 42 uh, width because they will come back and defend wealth for you. So make sure you use your cams and switch them and bring them to support your CDMs while defending. Also guys, if you're looking for a trading discord to help you make millions of coins in the FUT market without having to spend real money on FIFA points, ZTM discord is the way to go. I'm one of their partners when it comes to talking about gameplay advices and other stuff and they've helped me a lot with making tons of coins in the FUT market otherwise as well. As you can see on your screen, they have done so much. Player People have made millions of coins already. Uh, at the start of the game itself, people had 1 million profits plus and that was at the global release time. So you can understand how good this Discord is. They've come at very cheap subscription models. You can see it now. You can just DM them on Instagram, have a word with them, give my reference and you will be part of this amazing Discord. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you reached till this part of the video, then make sure to drop a like and sub to the channel as I'll be coming up with more FIFA 23 content to help you guys with more stuff when it comes to gameplay. And as always guys, take care of yourselves and good luck for the FIFA 23 season. Bye-bye.